Hello, and welcome to Beating Heart Disease. My name is Kevin Wells, and I'm a heart disease survivor. I had a quadruple bypass about a year and a half ago. Today we're going to talk about the four things, the actually the awesome foursome is what they're called, four supplements you can take if you've had heart surgery, if you had open heart surgery, if you had stents, or if you're trying to prevent these things from happening to you, these are four supplements that you're definitely going to want to look at as far as taking. Uh, now I just want to say up front, I am not a doctor, I'm not a healthcare professional, I'm not a researcher or anything like that. So anything that I suggest, I suggest you talk it over with your doctor to see if it's right for something to add to your routine. Um, and also, you know, don't trust people that tell you to do things on YouTube. You need to do your own research. Uh, you only have one body, so be careful what you put into it. Do your own research about side effects, about interactions with medications you have. Most of the stuff that I recommend is, well, almost all of it's going to be safe. You know, it's gonna, probably going to be stuff that you already have in your body or stuff that you're already ingesting into your body with, through your foods. Uh, rarely would I ever suggest something that's not, that's not natural to your body or not something natural that you're already putting in your body. So that would be a rare thing for me. But still, you need to do your own research as far as interactions and that kind of stuff uh, because it is ultimately your call whether or not you want to you want to do these things all i do is try to you know something that's helped me i try to share that information and i just want to help you know other others in recovery and others you know, to prevent them from having this stuff so with that said to be honest this is about the fourth time i've actually made this video i've tried being more technical on the other ones and it just wasn't coming across as genuine and one thing I don't want to be is, is disingenuous dis disingenuous with you people, you know, uh, because, you know, I want to come across as natural, somebody that's trying to help, rather than somebody that's trying to pretend to be a researcher, or trying to pretend to be a doctor, or trying to pretend to, pretend to be a, an expert. I am not an expert on, on uh, you know, the medical side of heart disease. I'm kind of an expert on surviving heart disease, but I am not an expert on... Uh, you know, on the medical side of it. Uh, but uh, anyway, I just want to put that out there that, you know, I'm just trying to make these videos as, as realistic as possible without me trying to read a whole bunch of technical jargon off a computer screen or off a sheet that I printed off or something like that. I'd rather just tell you the nitty gritty, put a link below, and let you dive into the research, you know, the technical stuff of it. But anyway, let's get let's get down to it. Now let's get, uh, talk about the awesome foursome. These are four supplements that you can take to help in your recovery of heart disease, to like if you had stents, that kind of stuff, um, if you had a heart attack, or if you're wanting to prevent these things, these supplements are, are four things that you need to look at. Now this research comes from a Dr. Sinatra. I actually found Dr. Sinatra's research uh, a couple weeks after my bypass. And basically he, he's been a cardiologist since the late 70s, early 80s, and basically he gave his, his, uh, patients these four supplements and they had better recoveries than the ones that he that didn't take the supplements so um so that's why i started taking them um and dr sinatra has a lot of interesting research in in metabolic cardiology you know how how different supplements and enzymes and that kind of stuff affect your your heart function uh, also in bioenergetic uh, interactions as far as the the electrical uh you know, connections and electrical you know energies that are made and how that helps your heart and um, and it also kind of goes along with other research that I've been doing which is talking about biomarkers and that kind of stuff there's really these are really the cutting edges on the cutting edge of cardiac research right now and they're, you're probably going to hear a lot about them in the de coming decade you know, a couple decades so uh, but anyway let's get into the awesome foursome uh, first one is magnesium and you probably hear me talk about magnesium quite a bit in these videos because it's I'm really I really like magnesium for for heart recovery and and, and for a lot of things. Uh, L carnitine is number two. CoQ10 and D ribose. <clears throat> Let's talk about the first one now. Basically, what these four do in layman's term is they help you create the energy that every cell in your body needs to function. And your heart is the, is the organ that requires the most energy. So because it's constantly beating, it's constantly working. You know, it, just, uh, it just takes up the most energy in your body. So you need the most energy 
uh, available, for your heart to have it available to it to function properly. So these four actually help you create that energy. That energy is called ATP, and I won't get into the technical name of it. I'll let you look that up yourself. But ATP is the actual energy that your body uh, creates so your heart can function, so your other organs can function. So it's very, very important, essential to your life, basically. The magnesium, now I talk about it a lot, and uh, you know it's good for blood pressure lowering and, and that kind of stuff. Now this is actually magnesium chloride. Now I started taking magnesium oxide, but I had to take a lot more of it than this. This is more bio-readily available. So when you take this, you don't have to take as much magnesium because it breaks down, your body breaks it down a lot easier. Um, so you're not, your body's not wasting a lot of energy having to break it into the, the form that you can use. So I take this because it takes a lot less uh, to actually get the same result. Um, now it's, uh, it basically improves your metabolic efficiency is, one, is the reason why it's included in these four. So that's magnesium. Number two is L-carnitine. Now, specifically, this is acetyl L-carnitine. I was just taking regular L-carnitine when I started. Again, through research, I found out this is more bio-readily available, so my body doesn't have to work as hard to put this to work. Um, now, L-carnitine is, is a, a vasodilator, which means kind of similar to nitroglycerin and that kind of stuff. Um, but it also helps in rebuilding heart tissue, heart muscle, that kind of stuff. So if you've had some damage from, um, you know, maybe a heart attack, or if you had blockage over a long period of time and your heart is heart function isn't quite where you want it to be, this could help your, your heart actually rebuild um, heart tissue, uh, cardiac tissue. So um, it is basically one of the, one of the essential uh, of the four here, the, the awesome foursome. The next one is uh, CoQ10. CoQ10, you probably heard a lot about it. Um, it's really, really important for, for heart function. In fact, Dr. Sinatra says if there's one of these four that you're going to, that you, if you're going to pick one of them, this would be the one you want to take. Because uh, it's, it's so important to so many body, bodily functions, especially in your heart. And it's already in your body. All these supplements are already in your body, just so you know. I'm not going to suggest anything that's not already in your body. So, but this is actually uh, ubiquinone. And uh, basically when you take CoQ10, which is ubiquinol, your body has to break it down into ubiquinone. Well, this is the actual ubiquinone that your body creates. So you don't have to waste energy again trying to create ubiquinol, ubiquinone, sorry. Um, because this is already what, what your body needs or what your body creates. So no wasted energy. Take this, bio-readily available, uh, and good to go. Now, CoQ10 is, is essential for energy production. Um, it also is a uh, uh, antioxidant. So it actually helps your mitochondria and that kind of stuff uh, to keep from being broken down by oxidation and that kind of stuff. So it's very, very important for, for health. I mean, there's been studies that it helps prevent cancers and all kinds of stuff. So... Uh, I would highly recommend you take CoQ10. Even if you don't want to get the rest of these supplements, CoQ10. There's one you got to pick. CoQ10 would be it. Next one is D-ribose. Now, D-ribose is a sugar. It actually tastes like brown sugar when you when you eat it. However, it is not used by your body the same way sugar is. Sugar is converted to energy uh, right away. Um, this is actually... D-ribose is actually used to create the ATP that your muscles use for energy. So, actually when you eat sugar or carbohydrates, part of it gets created into D-ribose to go into ATP to give your muscles the energy that they need to, to function, basically. So if I didn't get some of that right, like I said, I'll put the link below. You can read in more into what these each one of these actually do. Um, uh, so that's D-ribose. I put it in like a smoothie, something like that, and it actually makes it taste even better because, uh, I mean, it's a sugar that you can get that's healthy for you. And somebody's saying, you can't have your sugar. Well, this one, this is one that you actually need. 
So anyway, so that's the awesome foursome. Like I said, if you want to do more, dive into more of the research of why I take these, why you should take these, uh, please click on the link below that I have in the comments because you can dive into Dr. Sinatra has a bunch of links. When you click on Deribos, it's going to take you to another page. When you click on El Carnity, it'll take you to another page. You can research ATP and how it's how your body actually creates that energy. But I'd rather have you do that and have, rather than have me get it wrong and then, you know, and give false information to people. I'd rather have you do your own research and, and study it that way because it's, it's actually healthier for you in the long run to know these things and know exactly what these things are doing uh, in your body and how they function and that kind of stuff. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, click subscribe so you can uh, know when I make other videos. Uh, also, if you liked it, you know, give it a thumbs up. Um, as well, if you if you have ways that maybe you've increased your energy after surgery and that kind of stuff, or maybe you have some information on metab metabolic cardiology or bioenergetic uh, interactions. Uh, or really, if you have more information on biomarkers, I'm really interested in that research. And I'll probably be making a video about that pretty soon. Because they've shown that there are certain biomarkers that every form of cardiac disease has these certain biomarkers. So if we can figure out how we can test for these biomarkers and how we can prevent these biomarkers, either through diet or lifestyle changes or those kind of things, and maybe we can, you know, cure this disease and make it extinct from human history, which is what we really want to do. So anyway, hope you like this video and uh, we'll see you next time.